We all have the one that got away. Our white whale. That lofty goal that's always been in the back of our minds and is something that we'll get to someday. I've long had this relationship with video games. Goals both big and small that I have had throughout my life to reach certain achievements. Get 120 stars in Mario 64. Collect all the treasures in Kirby's Great Cave Offensive. Complete various Pokédexes. The list goes on. And finally knocking out these missions can feel so satisfying. So incredibly gratifying to have put in the hard work and determination and see it all through. But some goals just aren't worth it. Some will be so excruciatingly painful to get through that they tear you up inside and make you angry that you went through with the work and leave you feeling empty and delusional. This is one of those stories. This is the story of how a small pixelated ocean creature drove me mad. This is the story of Phoebus. Now originally when I set out on this quest, I had the big question if catching this Pokemon was as hard as I remember it as a kid. I'd never actually put in the entire amount of work to see the hunt for Feebas all the way through, and most of the hype around it was playground talk, and no one was actually willing to try it as a result of this. I've always been a big fan of Pokemon Emerald and have been playing recently, so I thought I would give it another look, because like most things in these games, surely this was just something we thought was hard as kids. There's no way that this is actually difficult, right? That was all empty hype! Surely it's not that bad, right? It's... it couldn't be. It's a fish. Okay, 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 okay. Either way, I can do this. It's fun. I'm a built tough fisherman who has caught bass weak and mighty. So I started out my quest by getting my Pokemon Emerald file right up to Moss Deep City so that I could get the Super Rod. Listen, I'm a high class and established fisherman. So if I'm going to fish, I'm only using the best. I'm not going to use something old and I'm not going to use something good. I'm only going to go Super got my party of Pokemon with me as well. They're all a bunch of chucksters though, outside of my very overleveled Breloom, who is here to offer spore and put any wily fish to sleep when I need to catch them. So after grabbing all my gear together, I immediately headed to Route 119 where I would hunt for my prey. All right, here we are. Welcome to Route 119, folks. Home to the most elusive fish in all of Pokemon. Let's talk about how it works in the overall scheme of the hunt. Feebas can be fished up on this route, but it only spawns on six individual tiles which are unique to each player. And this route, unsurprisingly, it's got a lot of water. 400 tiles of it, in fact. And another small wrinkle on top of this is that when you hit a Feebas tile, it still only has a 50% chance of bringing up Feebas. But as long as you fish every tile once, you've got a cool 63 out of 64 chance to see at least one. Alright, see? That's almost 100%- Now wait a minute. Ah! Almost 100%? 400 tiles? Okay, that is a lot more than I thought, but I'm sure it'll go by quickly because I love fishing and I am dedicated to my craft. I'm gonna get this done. All right, so I'm just gonna get situated up over here and then I'm just gonna go through the route and hit up every tile one by one. to get my line in the water, not a care in the world. See, this is easy. Why did I ever think this was hard? I'm just gonna get set up with a YouTube video, some music, a cold drink. Hey, now there's our first bite. I just gotta reel it in. Hello. Now why is a mini game starting? Why did I mess up after a few times? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen really closely. Do you, do you hear that? Do you hear that, right? That's exactly right, it's silence because I would simply be too powerful if there was an audio cue for the fish, like an Animal Crossing. Oh no, that would be unfair. All right, so I have to pay attention to this. I don't get my little YouTube videos of Family Guy on top of the Subway Surfer video. I have to pay attention to these fish if I want to bring them in. Why is it so fast? Five times in a row to bring the fish in? There was only one dot before I had to press A again! And 
I have to do this on every tile? These are evil fish. These are the fish from hell. These are the fish that make you regret your life's decisions. And if I see this damn piranha one more time, I'm going to freak. Alright, just cast. Play the little game. Move to the next tile. Just cast. Play the little game. Move to the next tile. Cast. Little game. Next tile. Cast. Game. Next tile. Cast. Game. Next tile. Okay, why is my little guy yanking it back in and saying not even a nibble? If you haven't gotten a nibble yet, leave the line in the water. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, unless he's going for a slow reel fishing style, and immediately after casting it out, he's slowly reeling his line in in order to simulate the movement for the fish. But I can fish up against a wall, so he couldn't possibly be casting it out and doing a slow reel. There's not enough space, and the movement doesn't look right. Well, I also suppose that there's a matter of the type of reel that he's using. You know, based on the sprite for the super rod, it appears to be some sort of sports caster reel. So I find it even more unlikely that he's doing a slow reel. But the bait also appears to be a pokeball, so I don't think it would benefit from the slow reel method. A pokeball ball couldn't look like prey to the fish. Well, unless that's their favorite or something? I don't know. What do Pokemon like? Okay, putting that aside, there's still the issue of the reel and the cast distance, so I don't think it could be possible to be a slow reel spin cast situation. So why is he reeling it in so early? Why am I even explaining all this? Well, the answer to this is a children's game, and I'm slowly going mad at sea. I'm, at least I'm surrounded by this just beautiful scenery, this beautiful nature. I'm, I'm truly surrounded by beauty. Look at these, look at these crashing waves. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. You ever see the bottom of water when you're in a pool? I love the way that the bottom of water looks. I wish I could grab it, you know, pick it up, put it in a little cup and swirl it all around. Oh, that would, that would, that would hit great right now. Maybe I should drink some of the water. It's looking real tasty down there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm slipping, y'all. I can't take my hands off of the controller or I'm gonna miss a fish. I can't avert my eyes or I'm gonna miss a fish. If I look away, the fish will come. And what if it's Feebas? What if this next one is finally Feebas and I was there for it? I miss the 50% and I keep fishing and I stay focused on this horrible, horrible fishing game. Yeah, I love Pokemon. It's my favorite. I, I love it. I just love it. I love Pokemon. I don't know what you're talking about or insinuating. I love Pokemon. It's my favorite game. You know, everything in Pokemon is just the right amount of hardness. You know, just like just like the, the, the Richter stale. It goes up from, from, from talcum powder to diamond. It's just right. It's just right in the middle. It's just the right amount of hardness. I, I love Pokemon. I don't know what you're insinuating. I love this. This is my favorite thing. I love... I, I, I love everything about this. this. This is my favorite. I I love to fish and I love to play Pokemon. It's 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 my dream. <laughs> it's my dream and I'm I'm living it right now. What are you doing? I'm living my dream while you are just being a little silly Billy. Okay? This is this is my favorite. And so I keep telling the waitress, I'm telling the waitress over and over that his name is King DDD. It's not King Didi, it's King DDD. Lunch boy, me Bob! <laughs> it's Phoebus! They put a Phoebus in the game! It's real! It's not fake! There it is! I found it! I found the dial and I found the Phoebus! It's him! It's Phoebus! Finally, my wife's work is over! It's really Phoebus. 
I can't believe I really found a Feebas. I never thought this day would come. I never ever thought this day would come. But I have a Feebas now and that concludes the first half of this journey. I... I don't know if I can take this anymore, but we have to do the second part now. We have to go get it to evolve into Melodic. Okay. Buckle up, it's Melodic time. Alright, I've slept in my bed. I have talked to my family and therapist multiple times on both fronts, and I believe I am ready for the second stage of the hunt. So I have my Feebas. Here's Benjils. She is great. And we're gonna take Benjils and get her to evolve into a Melodic. So to evolve Feebas, we need to get her to have a maximum beauty stat and then level up after that, of course. But the difficulty is in getting the max beauty stat, which we do with Pokeblocks, which is the cook food method of Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And then based on the qualities of the Pokeblock, it will raise a contest stat of the Pokemon. We are looking for beauty. That means we want blue Pokeblocks. Let's go get them. All right, so here we are in Lily Cove City. This is where the berry blenders are at the contest hall. And unless you have other people in real life to make them witch, which big surprise, I don't. Are you kidding me? You think I have friends? Yeah, guess again, wise guy. We have these horrible, horrible NPCs to make the berries with who just throw in random garbage into the blenders, no matter what you're trying to make. But we're stuck with them, so. I guess they're our team for this section of the hunt. Okay, just got back from checking Bulbapedia. Turns out that you can't feed them infinite Pokeblocks. They have a thing called Sheen, and when you max out the Sheen, no more Pokeblocks. And if you don't have it maxed out by then, your Feebas is dead in the water. I guess I could breed a new one if I messed up, but how am I going to get to that maximum beauty? It's a beautiful, beautiful creature. I'm surrounded by beauty, by the way. How am I going to get it to maximum beauty? Okay, checked Bulbapedia again. I think the best thing that we can do is get one of these berries. We are looking for the softest feel possible because apparently the feel of the pokey block is really important. We want them to be nice and soft like a baby's cheek. We want them to be really high level too. So we're looking for high level blue pokey blocks that are very soft. I want to be able to just take a bite out of it. Big surprise, Bulbapedia, back again, third time this time. So the easiest way to do this is to get a berry called the Pam Tree Berry, but I have not beaten the game yet, and the way that you get this berry is getting it from the Berry Master using a phrase that you unlock by beating the game. But I'm not there yet. And this is a regional dex Pokemon, there has to be some way to get it before you enter the post game, right? There has to be, it's in the regional dex. There has to be a way. And I think the best berry that we will have access to at this point is the Kelpsy berry. It's a bit of a compromise, but I hope with enough of them, we get the job done. And the only way to get a Kelpsy berry seems to be on the way back of Route 115 off of the water. <sighs> All right, here I am. Here I am at the back of Route 115. We made it and there's only three Kelpsy berries. Okay, and I think I need somewhere around 10. That's great. All right, so I'm gonna get these berries and then we are going to plant them and water them with the Whalmer Pail. Wait, I don't have the, I don't have the, I don't have the damn Whalmer Pail yet. Okay, I'm gonna go get the Whalmer Pail and then we're gonna go water these berries and it's gonna be great. We're gonna get the berries that we need and we're gonna get this done. Plants are all watered. Berries in three two, one, go, go. All right, so these are plants. It may take a little while, but I'm prepared to wait. All right, it's been about three hours in in-game time and they have not moved. So, I am going to save my game, get some much needed sleep, and we'll check in on them tomorrow. <sighs> Alright, game time folks. These berries are looking ripe and ready to be harvested and made into little Pokemon cookies. Let's go. 
All right, so that's a pretty good number of them. Hopefully this works. I fear that I may have to plant more, but let's let's at least get started on this to see if we can get a pokey block that is quality enough to feed the Feebas. All right, the berry goes in the blender. What, what are you what are you all throwing in there? These berries look garbage. They're terrible. Oh great, and you're all terrible at the game too. I'm I'm great at it. This is this is my type of game. A little, little quick time event here in the berry pusher. Oh my word. Old man, you are terrible at this. I switched tables so that I could have less people interfering with my grind, and you are awful. Old man, you are ruining everything. Old man, stop. Stop missing the timer. Please, you're ruining this operation. Stop. Oh yeah, job well done. Ooh, pretty good pokey block. I bet Feebas is gonna love it. All right, seeing some little hop and jump action from Feebas. Ooh, that's a big boost. That's a big boost. Okay, okay. Let's keep going. All right, I think that's gotta be at least worth something. That's gotta be pretty close. I'm gonna go try and level up Feebas now. I've been at this for about 20 minutes, half an hour maybe. This part isn't as bad, I must admit. All right, boom, done. Did it work? Oh my gosh, it's working. I've literally never seen this screen before in my life. I hope it evolves into Melodic still. I don't know why it wouldn't, but at this point I'm, I'm concerned. There you have it. Finally, finally have a Gen 3 Melodic. A lifelong quest of mine finally fulfilled. And I hated every second of it and it was terrible. This was awful. Why is the fishing in this game so incompetent? Why are the NPCs that you make Pokeblocks with so incompetent? Why was all of this designed in this horrible, horrible way? Especially when people didn't have regular internet access. I used guides for a lot of this. I have a melodic now. But at what cost? At what cost? Alright, so that's my story. We got the melodic. Did you ever get a melodic? What do you think of this quest? What do you think of this difficulty here? Let me know. And I understand that I did a lot of things inadvertently that made this quest a lot more difficult for myself. But in my defense, I didn't know. And people couldn't possibly have known at the time even better than I did. I've read since I conducted this that the old rod is the way that you want to go to make the fishing game as easy as possible. But what in-game rule or information informs me of that? The super rod is the super rod because it's the best. Who wouldn't take the super rod in to give themselves the best chance of fishing? And how is anybody supposed to know about the berry stuff without lots of rigorous rooting around in the game? I can appreciate that this is an ultra hard, ultra valuable Pokemon challenge, but not a lot in the game is really even informing me of its existence or what I'm in for when I finally decide that I want to get one. But all in all, it was an adventure. At the very least, I can appreciate that Pokemon really crafted an adventure for me, even in my older age of not a child when I originally had this game. So I can appreciate that. Other than that, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun, a lot of stress, and a lot of work to get this one done. But you know, that comes with the territory. I'm hunting for Feebas. Earth's most elusive creature.